the Bear and Show Show. Briarfest 3. Well, Briar 3, um, none of these are actually from Briarfest, but um, it was cool. I've watched it online, some of the things that people got, and wow, there's some beautiful horses there. Although I'm still in a market for a Gnosis. Gnosis? You know, the giant bull? I like the gold one, if anyone knows how to get that. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I wasn't necessarily expecting buying some more, but I had a beautiful, amazing experience. I had one of the best shopping days of my life, which is amazing. I uh, went to a store called Value Village, took some stuff back, bought some awesome stuff, and then found a new place to get briars. Well, that's quite extraordinary. And man, oh man, did they have a selection. And things that you can't normally buy, like lots of different lead ropes and lots of stuff like a show, um, you know, show accessories in this little package and a lot of the dolls and then the giant truck, the Dally, Dally, whatever truck, the giant white truck, they had that one. And then, oh my God, they had so many things that I'd only seen on the catalogs, right? And they had a lot of unicorns, um, a lot of different unicorns and the mini winnies and all of that stuff, which I normally don't get and they don't sell usually at my Stampede Tack. And maybe the best horse I'd ever bought. Just walked in. I'm sitting there. They had a beautiful, I think it was Equiday, was that it? But, you know, I'm not a decorator. Fan. I and they had the um the red velvet which I actually had to part with because I was like no um that I'd actually bought and weirdly enough I'm not a fan of the jumping horses I don't know why I'm not a fan but I had voyeur and I had to part with him too because I'm like no this doesn't go with my collection and yet there you go I just bought a third um Texas Longhorn <laughs> ball I got three now I got three three of them I got three of them I just, I love them so much. Keep buying them. And I bought something that isn't a briar, but I want to share because it was in this giant toy store. Um, and, oh my God, and they had a whole bunch, so I've got to show you. I just want to carry it around like I'm eight. I just want to carry it around. Okay, this is my giant size. <laughs> my, my giant size brontosaurus. It is as big as it seems. And I was, they had an end cap shelf. And so I was just looking at all of them. And then it had like a green one. I think that was a T-Rex. And then it had like a blue one, which might have been a Stegosaurus. I'm not sure. And then they had the most amazing, amazing Brontosaurus. At least I think this is a Bronto. So I'm like, I have to buy this. I have to buy this. I'm just holding on to it. <laughs> I love this maybe more than I ought to, but I do. That's the kind of things you can do when you don't have kids. But, you know, you buy things for you. So, and my inner kids. So, there you go. Hello, everyone. Hello, my name is Brayden, and I was at a toy store. And then this lovely lady just came, and she picked me up. And now I live with her and her wonderful bear. Boom. There he is. Where are you? Yeah. And Bailey is not jealous. Bailey is sometimes jealous, but he's not jealous of wonderful brontosaurus. And we also we also picked up an extra bear in the big blue house. So now I have bear in the big blue house twins. If you remember the show from a long, long time ago, welcome to the blue house. So that's that one. And they had this amazing toy where he would do the bear cha cha cha. So it was a it was this wonderful you know dancing um, bear. And it was kind of like fabric, and it was just really neat. So I've got two of those now. Yes. So I'm just so in love. I'm so in love with this. I'm so in love with this one. Now, I didn't look at the foot, but this was the best one. I thought this was the best one because the painting isn't ideal in some spots. And I named him Brayden for personal reasons. Um, because I like the name and because I want to remember that. So I want to remember the name. So how cool is this and i also like dry like i well i like dragons but i like dinosaurs which aren't dragon like 
Isn't he photogenic? Check that shit out. Man, we could do like a whole mixed show about about Brayden. And so, yeah. Hello, Brayden. What would you like to say to the people? Hello, nice view. I know. I think it's a nice view, too. I live on the third floor. It's a good It's a good place. Thank you for saying. I like, I love your coloring. Thank you. I think it's actually pretty good as well. I enjoy it. You've got a very good neck. Brontos are one of my favorites. I'd see. I do like a good stegosaurus, though. And pterodactyls. So, this is my giant. <laughs> Huge. And it's soft. It's not super hard. It's kind of squishy a little bit. So, there's that. And then I was thinking about buying the, you know, it's kind of like a rainbow colored one. But then I'm like, no, I'm not really into it, you know. And then there's a few other ones. And that actually, they had, they had two secretariats. You can't even get secretariat. And I, well, I, I had to buy mine secondhand. So it was amazing. Oh my God, they had like, what, two or three shelves full of just briars. Now I got a new place to go. So, briar part three. And then look at this. I've only seen this one on the Briar website, but I really am so excited. Look, what in corral? Well, because I'm starting to, I need to find a place to put my horses. So I thought if I can clear a place on the ground, I can put some of the horses on the ground. And if I like to, I might go back and buy another one of these because they had so many. And I don't know if you can see it. There you can see it. Um, and yeah, so that's the wooden corral. It's like, have fun with your buyer traditional series, model horses, accessories, and riders. And then, oh my God, they had a lot of barns and the cleaning sack. And they, oh my God, they had so many bridles. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, that's kind of fiddly, as they say, fiddly bits. But um, I might, you know, I certainly wouldn't mind getting on getting um, a um, saddle. But I haven't seen too many saddles actually for sale. But Man, they had so many different bridles. You wouldn't believe it how many they had. It was extraordinary. So that's my new place to go. Wooden Corral. Yay. Okay, hold on to your hat, people. Hold on to your hat. Okay, baby's even, baby's even thinking about it. He is. Do you want to do a dance for the people? Should we do it? Or, okay, no. He's like, no, I don't want to right now. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're having this beautiful, peaceful day. Oh, my God. We had the best time shopping. Um, and, yeah. And then we bought some really other really other fun other stuff that we bought today. I bought, I bought a jacket. It was, like, 70% off. It was Columbia, if you know that company. Very, very famous. So, okay, you ready? This is an Orin Mixer. Oh, my God. Love Orin Mixer. Love him, and I think he was cheaper than the one that, then. Well, they didn't have him at Stampede Jack, but I think it was even cheaper because Stampede Jack charges more. But I'm still happy with them. Um, but this one was much, much less. Okay, I love Orin Mixer. Um, as you may or may not know, the story about you know, um, seeing the picture of it when I was like 13 and being basically Poe. We're so poor, we can't afford the rest of the letters. Um, and so, but I, you know, really wanted. To think that one day I could afford something like that. And again, <laughs> more than one. Actually, I have two Orin Mixer quarter horses, which are amazing. And then this is a Palomino. Maybe the best horse I own, although Snowman ranks right up there as well. And oh my God, what was the name of that horse? I'm thinking Star Starburst. You know, Solar Flare. I gotta say, I love Solar Flare as well. But then I like them all. I mean, what's not to like? And then my one decorator, uh, the Maple Leaf one. My Maple Leaf decorator. I, I actually do like that. Somebody wanted to buy him one. And I'm like, no, I can't sell them. Because you can't buy them anymore. So, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Okay. Get ready. Ooh, there he is. Well, there it is. That's the Orin Mixer Palomino. And he did all these paintings, which apparently were in the American Quarter Horse Association 
like lobby or something. And it's called the Ideal Series. See? And so, yeah. Can you see that? The Ideal Series. There it is. Yeah. And, oh my God, look at how beautiful this horse is. I didn't take it out of the box yet because I just wanted to show all my peeps. Check that action out. Is that not the most beautiful horse you may have ever seen in your entire life? And it was just sitting there on a shelf for me to buy. <laughs> I'm like, right on, man. So, yeah, I'm going to read this. The Ideal Series pays homage to the stunning artwork of renowned equine artist Oren Mixer, 1920-2008, and his most popular subject, horses. Each hand-painted piece in this series was inspired by one of Mixer's famed Ideal Horse Breed paintings. So, check it out. And then this is the Palamo Palamone, no, thank you, that's another video. Um, Palomino Horse Breeders Association of America. And so, it's just beautiful. They're like my favorite horses, one of my favorite horses. And so, this is kind of their breed, in a way, the ideal breed. I think it's like the standard. And then they did that for the Quarter Horse Association, too. So, oh my god, I just want to keep showing it to you, because it's super beautiful. And then, he, it is also really lovely. Like, the box is just so well done, too, right? It's just amazingly well done. So, yes, cool, man. So, that's my part three of my um, amazing, and amazing Summer Briar Hall. Makes me feel better that I wasn't able to make the Briar Fest. But you never know. I might try and go sometime. So I hope everybody again has a wonderful Labor Day weekend. And I will see you soon. The Bear and Jail Show. Briar Edition Part 3.